I've always wanted to do a documentary on long haul truckers, but because of the pandemic and the physical distancing, we can't travel with the truckers. So we're going to be directing and producing this documentary by remote control as Shelly uh, takes this truck across Canada and back. So come onto the truck and I'll show you how we've uh, rigged it up. So welcome to the cab of the Destiny Star. We have a total of six cameras, one GoPro aiming directly back at the driver. That's our main camera. We have a camera pointing forward, to show the road ahead up there on the windshield. A wide shot camera on the passenger side. And we have a camera outside showing the road ahead and the road behind. And we have a remote control uh, right here for her to stop and start all of the cameras at the same time. It's an experiment in remote documentary filmmaking. Fingers crossed the technology holds up for us. The purpose of my trip is to spread awareness about the Stay Home, Save Lives campaign and also uh, delivering some uh, essential goods along the way. The load uh, Shelly's taken out west is uh, hand sanitizer. It's made by one of our pharmaceutical customers. Uh, it's a line haul which would normally cost between eight to $9,000 to go to Vancouver. We donated our little piece to help with this problem. We're doing it for free. It's just the right thing to do. It's our little effort towards the cause for trying to get everybody through this, right? I think what a lot of people don't understand is, is that almost everything we haul is essential. If we don't take the pulp to the mill, to the factory, you're not going to have face masks. I think this embodies what trucking is all about. We understand what it means to stick together and, and to look out for each other and to work hard for each other and to, and to treat everybody equally and with a level of respect. I felt that I needed to do my part uh, for COVID-19. And I wanted the drivers to know out there that I'm willing to go out and risk my life with them because they are. I spoke to Angela Baltock from Big Rig Wraps. She was thinking about doing something to help spread awareness. I said to Angela, the only way I'm gonna haul that is if it's gonna blend in with my truck because uh, I haven't been driving for quite some time now. So she uh, came up with this design which was enough to entice me to come back to the world of trucking. I talked to her yesterday, she said she picked a hell of a trip to come back to work on, right? But that's Shelly, she will, I'm glad we got her in a job because it will go perfectly. What a woman, eh? What, what happened here with her husband with that terrible incident? Shelly was in the shop here, the truck was in here being serviced and uh, we were moving equipment and trailers away from the building in order that the machinery I was running could access that and uh, in the process of, of putting those trailers back into their proper parking spots is when uh, when the accident occurred and um, Chris ended up in a really bad spot. And I'm a pretty tough cookie. I think uh, anybody that knows my whole life story will tell you that. Uh, losing my husband was the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with. Um, and to be honest, uh, once upon a time, I didn't even know if I would be able to come back here or even into this backyard at the facility because that's where he died. For, for a trucking couple. They did everything together and, uh, and Chris just adored her, just adored her. And I think when you've done something for so long with your significant other, if it's me, the first question is gonna be is can I do it without them?